early predictions for the real estate market for 2025. I'm sharing some insight in this video. Welcome back to Carrie TV. I'm Carrie White, your real estate expert here in beautiful Los Angeles. And every week I share what you need to know to stay in the know about the real estate market in Los Angeles. So don't forget to hit subscribe and share with a friend who might be looking to make a move. So without looking at the experts, I have a feeling 2025 is going to feel a lot like 2024. And to be honest, 2024 was rather uneventful in real estate as far as rates, prices, and inventory. By the way, if you like these market updates, don't forget to subscribe so you're always getting new content about the real estate market in your inbox. Okay, so 2025 predictions. It's truly a little bit of the same old story, and that's not really a bad thing. Prices are higher and rates are higher, but people still need to buy and sell because it's a natural part of life. Not just because people are timing or gambling on the market. Buying or selling a home is a huge financial decision no matter what part of life you're in. And most of all my clients I work with are always a little nervous about making a big decision. So it's natural to cling to what's familiar and be a little bit nervous. So from one expert, me obviously, to the actual famous experts, let's talk about it. We've researched Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Case and Schiller, et cetera, and we'll look at these predictions from them. So interest rates. Mortgage rates are projected to come down slightly. Interest rates are expected to go down and lower for the rest of the year. And it's really good news, but make sure you watch the relationship banking because while rates may be at 6.2% as of September, relationship banking can get you a rate in the fives. Hello, call me if you're interested in that. Mortgage rates play a significant role in the housing market. So the experts are saying there will be a expected gradual decline in mortgage rates over the course of the next year. And you can see from this chart here that we will pull up that mortgage rates are projected to come down because there's continued easing of inflation and a slight rise in unemployment rates, which are both key signs of a strong but slowing economy. And many experts believe these signs will encourage the Federal Reserve to lower the federal funds rate which tends to lead to lower mortgage rates. So more homes are expected to sell. The market will see an increase in both the supply of available homes on the market, as well as a rise in buyer demand, as more buyers and sellers who have been sitting on the sidelines because of higher rates choose to make a move. And that's one big reason why experts are projecting an increase in home sales over the next year. According to Fannie Mae, MBA, and NAR, the total home sales are forecast to climb slightly, with an average of about 5.4 million homes expected to sell in 2025. So that would represent a modest uptick from the lower sales number in 2023 and 2024. For reference, there were about 4.8 million total homes that were sold in 2023, and expectations are for around 4.4 5 million homes to sell this year. That's not a lot of home selling. While slightly lower mortgage rates are not expected to bring a flood of buyers and sellers back to the market, they certainly will get more people moving. That means more homes available for sale and competition among buyers who want to purchase them. So that means more competition for buyers as rates go down. Think about that if you're a buyer right now. So as far as prices, prices are expected to go up moderately. More buyers ready to jump into the market will put continued upward pressure on prices. Take a look at the latest price forecasts from 10 of the most trusted sources in real estate. On average, experts forecast home prices will rise nationally by about 2.6% next year. But as you can see, there's a range of opinions on how much prices will climb. Experts agree, however, that home prices will continue to increase moderately next year or at a slower but more normal rate. But keep in mind, prices will always vary by your local market. Understanding the 2025 housing market forecast can help you plan your next move. Whether you're buying or selling, staying informed about these trends will ensure you make the best decision possible. Let's connect to discuss how these forecasts could impact your plans. And if you find this interesting, don't forget to subscribe and throw me a comment so I can hear what you think. See you next week.